Welcome Libra, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth, Seven Energies and Energy Oracle. Okay, so let's get into it here. Three cards for Libra, please. Three cards for Libra. Okay, so let me pick this one up off the floor. Okay, Libra, so the first card here is, am I in my head or in my heart? Okay, next card is, am I letting fear stop me? And what passion am I ready to pursue? Okay, so first card here, Libra, am I in my head or in my heart? It says, what is the quality of your self-talk. Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Master our thoughts, sorry, mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life. Where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. Okay, so your action to take here, Libra, is today's, blah, 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 today, Master your mind. Watch an inspiring video. Do some tapping. Read an empowering book. Or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. Love it. Okay, Libra. So let's have a look further into this. Okay, so tell me more about this. One more card for this self-talk. Okay, I love this. I love this. Am I in my head or my heart? And the one that pops out is Archangel Gabriel, right? So <laughs> this is the thing, right? This is about you really Like, even though you're not necessarily voicing what is in your head, it's about this self-talk, right? So I love that this has come up. Um, what's the other card here? The thinking woman. The thinking woman. Okay, okay. This is so cool. Okay, right. Let me have a look further into this. Fifth Chakra Archangel Gabrielle. Tell me more about this. Oh my gosh, they're all on the floor today. One more, one more card. Yeah, okay. Let me get this. Really interesting here because these three cards, I don't even like feel like it's about the what they're called. I actually feel like it's about what I'm seeing here. And they're all rising up. There's these, these lights rising up here, right? And I feel like this is what this is about. That when you are able to master these thoughts um, and, and these this inner critic and this the the inner bully I guess um you're going to be able to actually spread your wings and fly I also feel like here Libra is that you're actually going to be able to um kind of like walk to the beat of your own drum in a sense like play your own tune and not be afraid to have that heard um yeah Yeah. Okay. And with the thinking woman here, there may be some of you who want to go and learn some stuff, right? Um, but this could also be you writing as well for some of you. She has a very serious look on her face here. It's like this, this contemplating as to, hmm, what am I going to do? What is the best, best the best course of action for me to take here. Okay, I wish they would stop falling on the floor. Okay, one more card for the thinking woman for Libra, please. Oh, it's the wrong deck. Let's get the right deck. Okay. But this one here, I have to say, is where am I called to use my voice right now? Which is really interesting. It's the other one I can't see. Um, okay, so so just ponder that, right? Okay, 
Okay, especially with this um, Archangel Gabrielle in the throat chakra here. Okay, so three cards for the thinking woman. Thank you for landing on the table. Okay, one more card. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so the a burst of magic. See, this is sort of like this um this rising up again, I feel. And it's kind of like it's like having the plans to do something, right? And then fulfilling those plans, right? Actually filling in the gaps that need to be filled in order to um, make that come to fruition. All right, we have the roses kiss. Here's the thing with this, Libra, is that I feel as though there may be some of you, like there's, there's this um, sort of like this goal that you want to get to, but the process of getting to it potentially is what frightens you and um there's fears that are holding you back but the thing is the fears are based on oh what if this happens or what if that doesn't work or um i get judged or i'm judging myself right there's going to be thorns along every path every single rose has its thorns right Every single single stem has thorns. You can't avoid it. They're there. Right? But the end result, I think, is what needs to be focused on. Yes, understand that these things are going to happen. There's going to be pain along the way. There's going to, you're going to get your finger pricked. You know, it's going to bleed a bit. Um, but you keep going. You keep going because you have the end result in your vision. Yeah, and um, and that is what I think is the important thing to focus on here. Okay, the call of call of the muse, and I feel like this is really getting into a position where you can sort of stand in that power of allowing yourself to be fully expressive. Okay. Um, and understanding the work that is required behind that because I'm looking at this lady here and she's a ballerina and she'll go out on the stage and make it look so beautiful and magical and amazing but the work behind that is absolutely phenomenal right and, you know, like, we're talking, like, bleeding feet and bruised feet and pain, utter pain. You know, the training that they do is is beyond what the most of us could even fathom. And so I feel like it's behind the scenes where the problem is. Oh, problem might not be the right word, but where the resistance is, Right of oh, I've got to do all this I've got to do all this work and it's like you know the fact of the matter is what do you want like what is important to you here right okay so am I letting fear stop me yes anyway I know you can answer that for yourself but judging from what's come out here that would be a yes okay so are you and and also this card would not have come up if it was a no, right? So it's calling you to look at it, but it's also calling you to be honest about it, be honest with yourself, and actually be willing. Here's the thing, Libra, is what I'm being shown here is sometimes people can go around the easy way or only do some of the stuff to get to where they want. You've got to do the hard yakka man, and it's ugly, and it's hard right the fear is there for a reason and it's it's yeah um it, you know and this this ballerina here she has gone through the hard 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 as work right to get to where she wants to be and she's owning it so this is you know this is this i suppose honesty uh, to, you know to yourself okay so are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now are you stalling freezing or giving up the juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear and that is all in capitals 
You are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it's up to you to see that by taking action. Okay, so the action is today be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero. So that is who you will become. It's, it's so brilliant. That is so brilliant. I love it. And that's just it, right? It's it's sort of like the fear is an excuse and it's not a valid one. Um, yeah, do it anyway, right? Face the fear and do it anyway. Who's that? Susan Jeffries, I think, is that author of that book. Okay, is that right? I could be wrong. Anyway. That just didn't come out right. Okay. Didn't come out right either. Okay. Well, did it. What am I meant to do here? Take it. No. Oh, too many cards. Okay. See, this is the thing. I feel like some of you are afraid of dropping the ball. Right? It's sort of like the fear has control over, like, whatever passion you want to pursue, the fear is bigger than that. So how badly do you want it? Do you want it? And this is the thing. The thing you're most afraid of is the thing you need to go and do. Not to create something so that you're not putting yourself out there. Not to create something so that you're still in your comfort zone. It's creating it so that you're stepping out because that's the only way to grow is to step out into the fear. Not around it, not avoid it, not under it or over it, but into it. That's the only way we ever progress in our life. I mean, not the only way, but you know, it's it's you will make more progress doing it that way than what you will all the other ways that are the easy route, but they're not going to be as fulfilling and you're not going to grow as much. So you're going to have other things go on in your life, you know, that are going to be hard um, because there's no growth. The growth is not happening here. Um, magician and the mirror. The magician and the mirror. feel like here Libra that this is about looking in the mirror with utterly utter honesty um, and really looking at what what is it that I can create or even what could I have created and I've got in the way of that because I feel like once you get walk into that fear and just step into it Whatever it is that you're creating is going to be, it's going to last a lifetime. It's going to be, it's going to, the thing is, it's going to make an internal mark on your entire soul. Um, so it's not just really about this lifetime. This is about many lifetimes where you've had these opportunities and never taken them and the fear's growing and growing and growing. And um, and now it's like, <clears throat> I can't do anything. Um yeah. Yeah. So let's have a look further into this magician in the mirror. Tell me more about this for Libra. Did I say Virgo before? I didn't, did I? I don't know. Sorry if I did. The cards are infused with your energy, Libra. One more card for magician in the mirror. I've got a feeling. There won't be a card. Yes, I think these two are enough. What are they? Broken open. Birds of a feather. Broken open. Look at this. Broken open. This is the fear. Just letting it shine through. What do you do? What else do you do sometimes, right? You just have to do it. Yeah, we've got birds of a feather here as well. And this is... Um, surrounding yourself with people who embrace the fear and do it anyway, right? Because at the end of the day, if you have people surrounding you who are going to um, enable you to hold yourself back and go, yeah, no, don't do that, that's scary, 
um, then that's not going to help you. You need people to, who are going to give you that push. And um, I think the thing is to get out of your own way with that. But at the end of the day, you don't even need those people. You, you can make the choice to do it for yourself. You don't need anyone to do this for you. Only you can do it, right? You really, really, really don't. Um, it's, it's, I think sometimes in our conversations too, we look for certain things. So we'll have a conversation and put something in a particular way to get a particular response from people. So you can go, yeah, see, I shouldn't do that because they, they, they agree, you know? And it's like, but if you put your conversation in a way, I really want to do this, but I'm so afraid um, and it's holding me back, they're probably going to be like, well, just do it, you know? So be mindful of that, Libra. Okay, so healer of the ages. This is this heart again, bursting open. This is this bursting open here. Healer of the ages. This is like... Okay, okay, so this, I feel like, has been, like I said before, this has actually been lifetimes in the making. This, um, first off, the fear, but also what it is that you want to actually achieve here. Um, tell me more about Healer of the Ages. The Libra, tell me more about this. Is that two? Eight. Okay. I'll just pick this card up. Okay, so I've got this card, but remember earlier on when I was using the wrong deck and there was one that fell on the floor and I couldn't see it, it says, to whom am I comparing myself right now? So that's something else to consider because often it's the fear of judgment or not feeling like, you know, will ever be as good as such and such or whatever you know the, and and really when you look at all this your fear the comparison all that kind of thing that's ego it's all ego the whole lot so if you want to say i'm not living my life from the ego and you're letting your fear go and get in the way and comparing yourself with others well you know okay so time machine time machine Okay, so this is taking, what is this, what is this, please? So, okay, so this is sort of like, oh my gosh, wow, this is quite out of it. So kind of like I'm being zoomed from way, way back, right? When we're talking about the healer of the ages, it's like it was being zoomed from way back when, centuries ago, to now. And it's like, sort of like, holy heck, I'm here. Like this kind of like, it's like being in a time machine, right? I'm here with this sort of, for some of you, a healing ability. Um, and now I've got to deliver it. And yet there's been all these other things throughout lifetimes where you might have been punished for whatever it is you're delivering, all these things that have added up to now where you're now free to do it and it's like but I can't but you can yeah so then with the time machine a good idea would be to go and project into the future to say you know what what passion am I ready to pursue but I don't I want to take out the word ready because that's too easy to renege on and go oh well I'm not ready for that so I'm not going to do it do the thing that you feel like you're not ready for because that is where, what you will learn most from. A tall tale lies. Lies, lies and more lies. This reminds me of the magician. Reminds me of the magician. Someone sitting on a hat, right? Yeah, it's not a hat, it's a seat. No, I was sitting on a seat. Like, there's lots of, do you know what it is? It's like there's lots of little, little, supposedly harmless lies that grow into something massive. Is this lies that you're telling yourself? It's 
interesting because I don't get this. I don't feel like this is your energy. So this could be something that you've been lied to about and this is the healing needs to be something needs to be healed something from the past potentially okay so we've got the power uh, power of purpose this is it what is your purpose right this is a timeline that you're on needing to actually bring this through okay so be very aware of that okay so the next card what passion am i ready to pursue what passion am i going to pursue Okay, so your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Okay, so write a list of the passions to which you want to give life to right now. Just write a list of all of them, okay? Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life. And the thing is that I'm actually seeing here, it's it's almost like the thing that you like, oh, I was going to write that down, but I thought, nah. It's like, it, that's the thing. It's the most, it's the one that you don't think, you know, like, yeah. Okay, so... Two cards for passions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got broken heart here. And it just I'm just wondering if this is like the rose's kiss, right? This fear, this fear of being hurt. And um this passion this this energy that you've put into doing something maybe someone's criticized it or you're afraid people will judge it but again Libra this is ego right this is ego um we've got the door to value as well but let me have a look broken heart tell me more about this in regard to passions for Libra please Okay, Grand Symphony, Willing Release, and Wish Upon a Star. This is about you needing to release your fears, right? Release your fears, because what I feel is going to happen here, Libra, you're going to get to the end of your life with a broken heart, because you were too afraid to step out of your comfort zone. It's kind of like having created this zone for yourself that's become too comfortable. And it's harder to step out of now. We've got door to value. Okay, so yeah, see, it's like looking through the door, right? Looking through the door, this is what I could create. But too afraid to step through. Tell me more about door to value for Libra. <clears throat> but the thing is also that this is this is the um, the entrance to this passion, right? This is this is the yeah. This is the way to actually get to what it is that you want. Roots of abundance. Yeah, see, this is what you'll be planting. Yeah, really think about it like that. Okay, door. To value planting these roots of abundance that are going to last a lifetime for you okay in perfect harmony see grand symphony this is about you allowing your own music to come from your soul okay because this is your purpose yes great and full this is absolutely incredible i love these cards i love 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 them you know this here 
is going to fill your cup. You're not going to need or rely on anyone else to fill it but yourself because you've got your passion. You, when you are tapping into that passion, you're unstoppable, right? Unstoppable. So go tap, tap, tap. Libra, tap, tap, tap. Right? Don't, don't tap on the door. Bang the blimmin' thing open. Right? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.